Hello and welcome to another video. This video deals with the parallel natural response. As you can see, we use KCL for the currents and then we can write the voltages. Now the voltage is the same across all three components. So therefore we may take the voltage across the coil and substitute the representative equation into the others to give us a differential equation in the current through the coil, which was the actual purpose of the question. Now, we can then um, get the highest member with a coefficient of 1 by dividing and use the characteristic equation to find the roots. And we find that we have repeated real roots and therefore our solution is going to be of the form shown. We just have to evaluate the arbitrary constants. So, when T equals zero, we know what the current through the coil is going to be. It's going to be four amps. And therefore, that automatically makes A1 equal to four. To find A2, we have to differentiate the solution. And when we do that, we can use the derivative for the coil, the voltage current relationship for the coil, because we know that at T equals zero, the voltage across the coil, in fact, the voltage across all the components is going to be 30 volts. So all we have to do is to make that so. And then when we do that, we find that the derivative itself is going to be six. But because of the current flows, we can put a minus sign in front of it because the, the sign only indicates the direction of the current. And therefore, when we solve now, we find that we have A equal to 2, A2 equal to 2, and our solution is as shown. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.